when I came to USF, naturally working in forensic anthropology, reached out to local law enforcement, and we started this program, kind of modeled after that, but including our students and their agents. Each student had a packet, and they were each given a scenario. So they had a made-up fictional story, basically telling them who found the bones or how they were called out to the scene. So they were approached, and they were given a general area to look in, but that was it. This actual field day is part of the forensic anthropology class that we do every fall. Students are always in the labs, you know, learning bones, learning how, you know, how to do human identification, trauma analysis in those other classes, but this is the one where they actually get out in the field to do it. I was excited about it, but actually being out here is so much fun, and it's so, it's different from learning about it in class, like being okay, you do this, you do this, you do this. When you get out here, you realize how much work it is, and you realize it, there's a lot of different things you have to do, and it's cool to actually see it and actually do it, than to just hear about it or see it on a slideshow. We have um, seven teams, and the students are divided into teams, and then each team is given a mock crime scene and a case scenario. And they're staged, of course, but they're meant to be sort of as realistic as possible. We are trying to duplicate exactly as if we were out on a live crime scene. So this is as realistic as you can get, except for being not on the crime scene. Most of us have had much experience out on crime scenes, so we've created these based on our knowledge. With the FBI, with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, Tampa Police, um, we really work with them and work together to create these types of relationships. So in the future, if these students ever want to work with them, it's a great way to get their foot in the door and to meet people.